I'm just sad and excited and scared and anxious, but happy. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Agos and let's do a little week in the life. It is currently 6.25 already. Oh my God, I need to go get ready. But I wanted to do a little week in the life because today is my last day in my current job. I quit my job uh, two weeks ago and I've done, I'm doing like my two weeks notice and today is my last day. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling all the feels. It's, 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 it's a lot it's a lot honestly the last month has probably been one of the most difficult months like mental health wise just really stressed but i'm starting a new job on thursday which is crazy it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy i'll tell you more about the new job when i get back but i need to go get ready for work and i'll show you guys i made like a little chocolate package thing to take to work and i'm like this feels so dramatic like i made a little card like thank you guys and i'm like i'm just so dramatic well i'll show you in a bit let me go get ready first because we need to rush okay you guys i just got ready super quickly so a little update and a little bit more context so um i think i've told you guys but i work at a cafe and i'm of course baristing and i'm also doing uh some of like admin stuff and their social media which is super super fun and last year i went into uni for uh, marketing i did my master's in marketing so i was kind of looking to get into that and kind of start my career as some yeah i guess that's what it is um so that is what's happening i'm gonna be starting as a marketing assist assistant in two days i am so scared i'm like what if i'm fired the first week you know what i mean like what if i get fired the first week it could it could you know it things like these happen um so anyways i just think i'm actually terrified but i'm really excited to start on thursday and i'm also very sad to be leaving my job because i love the people there i honestly like they've become friends and i just i'm sad to be leaving but it is quite close to where i live so hopefully i'll be going back and like maybe do a work from home day there or just go on the weekend depending on how like the schedule works i just honestly have no clue what my days are gonna look like but we'll see about that but i'm just sad and excited and scared and anxious but happy <laughs> So it's been a bit of a lot this week. So I just wanted to take you along of my last day in my work, my job and then starting my new job. I'm also getting my nails done tomorrow, you guys. I haven't gotten my nails done in like two years. I'm so excited. Anyways, let me show you what I got for work and then we need to go. So this is what I made. I made like a little Easter basket thing and I wrote a card. That's why I thought I'm a, I was like, am I just being dramatic? But I don't know. I would have felt guilty if I didn't take anything like I think I'm happier taking something than then ending the job and being like, oh, I never took them anything. You know what I mean? And this one is just a little something for like my work bestie that I literally spent every day of the last year with her practically. So that's for her. But anyways, um, let's go. I really don't want to go. Like, it feels like the last day of school. You know what I mean? Like... I'm I just don't I feel like in denial a little bit about it like it just doesn't feel real you know when you've been doing something for so long that things are gonna change and it's like oh no it's just not happening you know what I mean like it's just I'm scared work my last day officially gone i literally got home and changed into these comfy clothes i need to go shower now but i was chatting to aldi on the phone so i was like i'm just gonna change really quickly and i'm gonna shower now but first of all we went out to lunch which was super super cute we went to a village nearby and it was so sweet to get to have lunch with my bosses and thankfully it wasn't like a super chaotic day like it was busy but it wasn't you know insane which was really nice but they also got me a present okay let me let me go show you guys hold one second First of all, I mean, I'll just say like Jess is a very creative person and she I feel like has a really big attention to detail and like look at the bag Okay, you see that and then look at the book. I'm reading like Cowboy era much like it's perfect. It's beautiful and then she wrapped The present in this inside like why is it like it's so perfect anyways 
Continuing, they know I love jelly cats. It's just part of who I am. And look at what they got me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. What? Why is it so cute? Why? Like, are you serious? Oh, it's adorable. I love it. And his name is Toasty. It's, oh, he's so cute. And also, you guys, it's like a pillow. So soft. Anyways. We love him. And, it, oh, and they gave it to me at lunch and I was like, oh my god, like it's just so, so cute. Anyways, they were so, so sweet. And then they also got me some chocolate, you guys. I love Lindt chocolate, especially their truffles. They are so soft, so good. I am so grateful. And then they also got me a card that everybody at the cafe signed, which was very, very sweet of them. And I will put this in my memory box always and forever because, I don't know, it's just so sweet of them. But anyways, oh, and they also gave us all like Easter eggs as well, which is very sweet of them because Easter is right around the corner. But anyways, I just can't believe my last day is like gone. Like that just feels crazy. Like that feels, I don't know. It just doesn't feel real. And I don't think it will until I start my new job. Uh, but anyways, I'm still terrified of starting my new job, but we're not thinking about it. We're... We're just enjoying our last day. I'm gonna go have a really nice long shower. Again, it just doesn't feel real. Like I don't think it feels real. Also, I'm sorry. If you've watched my other vlogs, you know I always have a plush next to me. Bullseye. I'm sorry. This was just too perfect. Like, just too perfect. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully Harry will be home soon and we can cook some dinner. and happy Wednesday friends I just got ready we're gonna go to get our nails done in like 20 minutes honestly you guys they are horrible I have horrible nails and I worked a lot with my hands so that definitely didn't help so I'm really really excited and also I just finished Hopeless by Elsie Silver which turns out is the last book in the Chestnut Spring series I was kind of hoping it wasn't gonna be the last one but there's no more like siblings or other male main characters other than the dad um or sisters or anything well i guess there was their sister's story but i think she already has her own book in another series or something like that from what i read so i definitely want to read that one about the sister um but it was so good i love the series so much and i just love how there's so many inside jokes that by the last chapter you're just like laughing alongside them honestly this has become such a comfort series for me uh and if you're looking for a little small town romance with honestly every trope you can think of please read the chestnut spring series i'm really sad to have finished it because also i was like i don't want to google if this is the last one and then i finished it googled it and it was like yep so i'm kind of sad because i'll miss them but i think she's coming out with a new series and there is violet's book so i'll probably need to like do some research to see which one it is or if i need to read other books as well besides the violet one because i'm not really sure but definitely recommend it was so so good and such a good series um and i saw that there's another like cowboy romance story going viral now like i think it's like done and dusted or something like that so those are in my amazon cart to be hopefully purchased next month um, I'm really excited. They're so good. But anyways, I just also hung up the laundry. This is gonna be kind of like a catch-up day. I slept like 10 hours last night. I was so tired. Um, but yeah, ready to start the day now. Good. No, I already said good hello. Morning. Why am I saying good morning for? I just got back and I got the nails done. I don't know if you can see them. I get a clip of them. They look so neat and I'm so excited to have like my like ah. Oh, it just makes me so excited because it just it makes you feel so put together and also you guys I just got my work laptop delivered really excited to sit down and set it all up today um, I'm very excited. I'm very nervous about tomorrow. It feels a lot more real now that I have a work laptop and I'm like You guys are trusting me with a whole laptop like That just feels crazy Started running like a week and a half ago i've only been on like three runs in my whole life so this is not you know not my forte but i'm really i'm really trying so we're gonna go for a super short run and then we're gonna reward ourselves with chicken nuggets It's crazy. 
currently 10 to 9 and I am freaking out. <laughs> it's simply, to simply put it. Um, I've kind of went over my laptop. I think I set up everything that I need. I looked if I had the links to the meetings that I have and I think I do. So I'm just nervous and excited and freaking out a little bit, but it'll be okay. Um, I'm just really nervous, you guys. Like very, very, very nervous. I need to calm down. Let me tell you, I started Bride this morning and really enjoying it. I literally like yesterday, I think I read like half of the prologue. I meant to start it, but honestly, you know when you're just feeling anxious and very distracted and I was like, oh, I can't. But I'm now on page 62 and I'm really, really enjoying where the story's going. Very mysterious, I'm very intrigued, I like her. And I'm intrigued as to where the story's going. So that's very, very cool. I'm gonna go pee, get more water, and be ready to work. You guys, we survived the first day. It was, it was intense. I mean, not that I had much to do. It was just like meeting after meeting after meeting, um, really. So it was really interesting. I'm really, I really just stretched that so much. Um, anyways, it was really cool. I'm really excited. Like it's, it's really exciting. I'm really happy and that makes me really scared because it's like, you know, the more excited you get, the more you can lose. I hope that I just won't get fired. Had some, you know, like, you guys tell me, like, do you have this fear? I don't want to call it irrational because it definitely can happen that you will be fired constantly. Like that's something I've always had that I just think I'm going to be fired constantly. I don't know why. It's just, is it just me thing or do we all live in constant fear of being fired? Um, but anyways, we'll see. Hopefully not. I did like a 10 minute YouTube video exercise because I was like, I feel like I need to move. I showered and now I'm just watching YouTube and I'm going to start making dinner in a bit. Hopefully Harry will be home soon. Um, also, you guys, update on Bride. Really good. I'm really enjoying it. It's my first Ali Hazelwood uh, book and I think that's her first like paranormal book if I'm not wrong. Um, or like fantasy-ish book and I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna be adding a lot of her books to my Amazon cart shortly because I'm really enjoying her writing style, the story, the tension, like I'm really really enjoying it. So I'm excited to read. I did want to read a chapter and I started one and I was like my brain is tired. Don't waste a good book on a tired brain. So we didn't. Anyway, so I'm just watching Sarah's latest video now and we'll have some dinner later. I'm really excited because I'm starving. Happy Friday, we made it to Friday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Friday. It is currently uh, 15 to eight and I went for a run, which I'm really proud of myself. That's my first like really early morning run. And I had a shower because it was kind of like drizzling. So my hair was gonna be all puffy. It'll probably be puffy anyways now, but at least it'll be clean. So we'll take it. Um, and I'm just gonna read until it's time for work. Really, that's literally my plan. And for today, we're gonna work. I might need to head to Tesco's because I need milk for tomorrow. And I'm FaceTiming Sol after work. And then we're probably gonna have a chill evening um, in the evening. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, you guys, back at it from literally this. Why am I always here? This is just like my seat, you know? Do you ever have just like an assigned seat? I don't have an office, so in the table, I have my assigned seat. I'm always here. Anyways, I'm on my lunch break now. I had my whole like HR induction today, which was really good. With that said, when they shipped my laptop, it had come in this really big case that is really handy because you can fit lots of things, but there's when I'm traveling and like going where I need to go, it's like a three, four hour train. I'm not gonna go with that, plus my bag, plus my little suitcase. So I was like, and also I wanted a cute one, okay? Like, I'll show you the big one. It's a proper bag. Um, wow, it has, I guess if you just bring this to work, 
is actually quite helpful but i would need to bring just this to work and i i don't want to i don't like it i'm hoping it's not meant that i'm guessing it's not mandatory i'm guessing you can put your laptop wherever as long as you bring it right that's just how it works we ordered a cute one it's so cute it's one of the bagu um what's it called like one of the bagu uh, laptop cases i have one of their bags the nylon bags and i literally use it for pretty much everything like it fits so many things and i love it so i was like i know this will be good quality and it just looks so cute this was the only one they had a size this big but i love the gingham like sort of print so i'm really excited to have that it will not of course fit like the mouse and stuff but it doesn't matter like i'll just put that in a pocket it's fine i just think that this is so much better that way i can wear my own like bag instead of having to bring in two things into work. The sun is out if you can believe it. It is out and there's not a cloud. Like it's not one of those sunny days that you're like, ooh, it might go away in the next hour. Like there is not a cloud. This hasn't happened in so long, you guys. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I made my first time's coffee I've made in like months. My bestie Aldi and I used to have this old YouTube channel from the time where we lived in the US and I lived of iced coffees. We lived in California and in the US they have this thing called creamer that is like a cream but it's like flavors. I haven't found anything similar here in the UK so if you know anything that's like a creamer in the UK let me know. So I really struggled to get into coffee here but now I really enjoy it and I put some like chocolate powder on top of it and I'm really liking it. I think I just got used to drinking coffee without like that much art not art i don't want to say artificial flavors but maybe um but anyways first iced coffee in ages i'm so excited it looks like spring i yes i'm wearing a still sweat uh, like i'm still wearing a sweatshirt i have you know long pajamas on but it looks like spring and i'm so excited the plan is uh we're gonna read now for a little bit probably go for a walk uh i might stop at tesco's because honestly is there ever a day i don't not really um and we're gonna come back we're going out well we're going over to some friend's house for dinner tonight so i'm gonna bake a dessert for that and yeah that's pretty much it chill day you know when i said oh there's not a cloud in the sky it's probably gonna last all day the sun is gone i mean there's still some patches of sky which is great but there's no more sunlight and now it's raining is back out who would have predicted today uh, not me not me honestly it the, i'd always say that england is like the caribbean but cold like the gray cold caribbean we're about to go make the dessert and put the little mini eggs on top hopefully it tastes nice i do think i left the brownie a little too long in there but it doesn't matter hopefully it'll be good uh but anyways update on the book you guys so good i am absolutely loving this book and i just made a tiktok about it but i was like i'm gonna have to buy 
all these authors books like i've never read them but i feel like i'm missing out because this book is just so good i'm really enjoying it uh so i'm really excited to keep going i'm i think i have probably like less than 100 pages left so probably won't re do any more reading today because we're about to go and we'll come back and literally probably go straight to bed but i'll do some reading tomorrow and i'll probably finish it and i'm so 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 excited um but anyways we're about to go it's just crazy that it is almost five and there's so much light outside and there's sun i know it rained and it was crazy today but spring is coming good morning friends happy sunday it's sunny again, which is very exciting. Um, so I just finished filming my winter wrap up, which I'm very excited about. This is my first one ever, so I'm very excited. I don't really know if I said imp like relevant things. I'm hoping I did, we'll see when I edit it. Um, but yeah, I finished Bright this morning as well. And you guys, it was honestly so, so good. I loved it. And it was such a good binge read as well because it wasn't like exhausting in the brain you know what i mean because some books can be a bit exhausting but anyways i think i'm gonna clean this up now and then i'm gonna go for a run sadly um yeah we're gonna do that so then i can have lunch because i don't want to have lunch and then go because then i'll just my stomach will feel very bad today will be a very chill day which is lovely i'm gonna try and edit the video as well for tomorrow and we'll see what happens some neck stretches and I don't know what I've done wrong this whole thing every time I try and move my neck this way it hurts so much I don't know what I've done and I don't know how to stretch it to be okay again I don't know what to do and it really hurts it is very annoying but anyways I just did the rough cut for the video which is really good because I'm gonna try and post it like upload it for tomorrow to that tonight so that would be really helpful so i'm hoping for that and now i've just started watching steph what's her last i don't know how to pronounce her last name steph borer maybe and i've seen her on tiktok loads and i've seen that a lot of people name her as one of their favorite like booktubers and stuff and i'm loving her vlogs like i literally just started watching hers today and i'm like i've been missing out like they're such good vlogs so i'm really excited and i'm not gonna start reading another book today i usually like to like finish a book on a day and not start another book immediately just to kind of i don't know give my brain a break dwell on the characters i don't it's not that i spend the day thinking about the book but i just i don't know give it like a little bit of pause but I'm gonna get the, this book ready to start it tomorrow and I'm really excited to start it and just look at the cover of this. It's stunning. I'm so excited to read this one. Uh, and also it's quite long and tomorrow, like I said, I'm going up north to go into the office. So I need to pack up all of my stuff. But also I was like, I don't wanna have to take two books because I'll have not a lot of free time, but I'll have a lot of train time. So I'll probably do quite a lot of reading and I don't wanna be carrying two books because I'm already carrying so much stuff so the less i carry the better so i was like i'll pick a longer book so i don't need to take two i probably wouldn't even finish a book but just in case you know you want to be ready but i don't want to carry too many things okay i feel like i'm taking way too many things but i just need one outfit per day and i'm doing three days so that's what i need and of course i'm taking a jelly out that's a rule like you know we have to we've come to the end of sunday my shoulder is still so bad harry's tried to like do some massaging but it's just not like it hurts so much and you know when you can feel like the exact point that it is and i just don't know what to do so it's still if it still hurts in the morning i'm gonna have to go to desk and see if i can get like a muscle relaxer or like something i, I just don't know what to do about it it's so painful um but anyways it's time for bed now i'm feeling very very anxious tonight so i'm a bit like i just want to relax and start the week but that's that's the thing that's keep, like making me anxious starting the week so i'm like i just need to relax 
please have a good night's sleep and start the week with a fresh mind but i'm just yeah just feeling very on edge so i'm just hoping to clear my head maybe i don't know how <sighs> but anyways um happy sunday uh just the weekend honestly just flies by but i will see you in the morning guys good morning and happy monday it's time to start the week it is 8 30 now i tried starting a book but my brain is just just not in it today um again the anxiety is still there and i'm just i literally just tried to do like a little exercise like a super short youtube exercise and like one that wasn't too bad because my um, neck still hurts i did find a cream for that which has helped and i just need to keep like reapplying throughout the day um but it definitely feels better than last night and i literally just started sobbing i was like what is going on so my brain is just not with it this morning i'm hoping to like regroup and once i start work to feel like a bit more at peace everything will be fine I uh, just had my coffee, just had some breakfast as well and I'm just maybe gonna watch some YouTube while I wait for it to be nine. I'm just a bit like, I do wanna read and I'm, I've am i started, like I said, this one and I'm on page 25, so not much, but I'm, I really like the premise. It sounds really interesting, so I'm really, actually really excited to read it. I'm just, um, just not, like, I'm just not gonna pay the attention it deserves right now. So I'm like, I'll just probably best to wait. Happy Monday, guys. Wishing you a good day and I will see you later. Good morning, friends. I am up in the north. It's Tuesday morning and today um, I got my first day in the office. I came up last night. I think I got a couple of clips on the um on the train i had to go into london and then come back up here um but yeah i'm gonna get ready now i'm nervous but not as bad like i think i was really stressed about traveling yesterday because i was like carrying so many things and stuff but everything was okay and i literally made it to the train like the long train with like five minutes before and if i had missed it like i could have still taken the next one but it would have been an hour after you guys and i still made it here at like 9 40 which to some people is not late to me that is late i'm gonna get ready now i'm nervous excited um but yeah i'll probably film till the end of today and then we'll probably finish the vlog here i don't know I probably won't film in the office, but I'll catch you up, guys, tonight. Okay, I've just gotten ready. I was gonna do something with my hair, but I don't know what to do. So it's just gonna, it's gonna come as it is, but. Do you like? Is it okay? Hopefully, because that's what I brought. I do have two other outfits, but I won't need one for tomorrow and then one for the day past. But let's go. <laughs> Okay, you guys, happy Wednesday. I was gonna film to say goodbye last night, but it just, just was so dark. And yeah, I was like, I'll just wait till tomorrow morning. But sometimes the quality on my phone is so iffy and I don't know how to fix it. So if you guys know why, like, why does it look like this? It just looks, anyways, anyways, anyways. I'm finishing up getting ready for my second day at work in the office and I still have one more tomorrow, but I figured I would just end the vlog here as my days. I mean, it's already been a week and also my days are literally like going into the office, coming back. I'm going to FaceTime my mom tonight and my grandma because it's her birthday today. So happy birthday, grandma. Feliz cumpleaños. So I'll probably just do that, eat and then go to sleep. Um, Last night, I've literally been watching so much YouTube. So I'm going to finish up getting ready and go. I'm taking the bus today, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm sorry if this video was a bit like all over the place. Honestly, <laughs> this last month, my mental health has been a bit chaotic. Um, and I think like there's days that I feel really good. And then there's days that my anxiety literally just takes over. And I don't know if I've had a month that I've ever cried this much, maybe other than the month of my dissertation last year. <laughs> um so yeah it's been it's been a bit all over the place uh but i'm hoping that now that i'm settled and finally kind of getting an idea of what i'll be doing and actually you know have the job um i think you know hopefully i'll find ways to feel a lot more comfortable and feel better because you know the uncertainty and like doing interviews and then you know actually yes no like it's all that thing and then quitting a job and then you know getting used to something new me missing your old co-workers getting to know your new co-workers and it's just yeah 
crazy chaotic of course in good ways and I am so so grateful that's why I'm like I just want to you know learn how to you know deal with this anxiety and you know be able to enjoy uh all of this because it's so great and I am so happy in so many things so I just want to keep that going but of course it is impossible to be happy all the time and I have to be realistic and not be too hard on myself but also I don't want to be anxious <laughs> so I just need to see how to kind of deal with it but anyways thank you for tagging along this week I hope that you're having a wonderful day and whatever is going on it's all gonna be okay and yeah just wishing you all all the best and I hopefully will see you in the next vlog